Should Christians use birth control or should they just have as many children as God blesses them with? That's coming up next on The Beat. Hey everyone, my name is Alan Parr. Thank you all so much for tuning into The Beat. Today we're doing a little bit of Q&A and Florine asked this question. The Bible says children are a blessing. Is that a reason to be having 12 of them when you can barely feed one? Where does the idea of contraception being a sin come from? Great question and one that allows me to demonstrate one of the most important principles of biblical interpretation, which is that when the Bible is silent on an issue, in other words, it does not give us a clear precept, we are then forced to look for principles that will help guide us into a wise decision. And so today I just want to share with you five of them to consider when discussing this topic of Christians and contraceptives. Number one, any form of birth control that is used as a safeguard for casual sex outside of marriage is not in God's will. The Bible says make no provision or plans for the flesh in regard to its lusts. So if you're carrying around condoms or you're on the pill for non-medical reasons, let's just keep it real. Basically what it's saying is, God, you know what? I'm gonna try my hardest not to yield to sexual temptation, but I know that if I do, I have a backup plan because I've already made provisions to have something that will help me escape the consequences of my sin. And so this reveals, first of all, more importantly, the true condition of our heart and that we are more concerned about escaping the consequences of our sin rather than hurting the heart of God. Second of all, it actually makes it easier for us to yield to temptation because mentally we've already made plans, we've already made provisions to help us escape the consequences of our sins. Second of all, to the married and to the unmarried, I would say this, any form of birth control that is abortive should be strongly discouraged. There are two types of birth control. Some prevent fertilization and others abort after the egg has been fertilized. Most people don't even think twice about it because these chemical abortions happen inside of the woman, oftentimes without her even knowing. They're designed not only to hinder the process of conception, but also after the egg has been fertilized, it hinders the process of the embryo being properly planted within the uterus of the woman, thus aborting the child. The third thing that I would say is that the Bible says that children are a gift from the Lord. So if for whatever reason a single or a couple gets pregnant, we should never view that child as a mistake or a burden or an inconvenience or something that is intruding on our plans for our life, whether it happens sooner than we expected or later than we expected, because the Bible says that the man whose quiver is filled with children will be blessed. Number four, consider your season. On the other side of this coin, the Bible also says that a man who does not provide for his family is worse than an unbeliever. So just because the Bible says that we should be fruitful and multiply does not mean that we are commanded to have 12 of them. I believe that every couple should pray and agree as to whether they are in the right position to adequately support and care for children. Some couples may want to prolong having children. Other couples may be on the mission field and they may feel like their calling overrides their desire to have children during that season. I think that it is best to leave this decision up to the discernment of the couple. Finally, I would say to make sure that you and your spouse have a clear conscience as to which forms of birth control that you're going to use. The Bible says that to him who knows to do good and does not do it, to him it is sin. The only way that you can have a clear conscience on this issue is to first of all come to a firm clear conclusion as to where you believe that life truly begins and then second of all I want to strongly urge you to research carefully what types of birth control are considered abortive and what other types will uphold the sanctity of life. So can Christians use birth control? Well, I don't see any specific scripture that prohibits it, which means that a couple should not be judged if they choose to use it. But I would suggest asking these two questions. First of all, what is my motivation for using this birth control? And then second of all, is this a type of birth control that will uphold the sanctity of life as God defines it? If we can answer those two questions positively, then we should proceed with a clear conscience. So guys, this topic is super controversial and one that hits home for so many people. So I would love to hear your thoughts. Please leave them in the comment section below. I've also posted a couple of links for further study. If you like this video, I would encourage you to subscribe. Check out some of the other videos on this channel. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you next time on The Beat.